Welcome to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today I got a question to ask you. Are you a clean rap Christian? In our desire to grow in the Lord, we often gravitate to older brothers and sisters in Christ with the hope that they will guide us in our walk. And there's nothing wrong with this. In fact, Paul often spoke of his strong relationship with his spiritual son, Timothy. He addressed the need for older women to guide younger women in Titus too. But a spiritual parent keeps one thing in mind if they are wise. Their job is to guide others towards a mature relationship with Christ. And they do so by their example and occasional instruction but they won't allow their spiritual children to use them as their personal problem solvers. They will encourage their charges to develop that crucial discipline of prayer and of devotional times and of Bible reading. If you're younger in the Lord, or if you've had a spiritual mentor that seems to have backed away just a we bit. Don't be too dismayed. They haven't stopped caring, but they could just be waiting for you to recalibrate, so to speak. Here's some questions that you might want to ask yourself as you are thinking about why is our relationship a little bit different than it was? Are you aware of your mentor's humanity? Are you honoring their need for rest and restoration? Are you jealous if they mentor somebody else as well as you? Are you demanding of their time? Do you see them as humans with needs of their own? Or do you see them as vending machines that you should be able to access at any time of day or night. Have you disregarded their advice in the past? Have you failed to follow through on promises you made to them? Have you made excuses when they confronted you on a few issues? As I said, if you're sensing a distance between yourself and your spiritual leadership, be reassured they haven't stopped loving you. They could just be waiting to see if you're going to follow through. Spiritual parents do pray on your behalf in the hope that you will wean yourself from a dependency on them for spiritual nourishment. A wise spiritual parent will steadfastly point you to the true source, the bread of life. John the Baptist understood this principle and he spoke the following about Jesus to his own disciples, telling them that it was time for them to look towards Christ and no longer to him. John 3 verse 29 to 30. The one who has the bride is the bridegroom and he's talking about Christ. The friend of the bridegroom, talking about himself, who stands and hears him, rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is now complete. He must increase, but I must decrease. Spiritual parents encourage their charges to learn to recognize the good shepherd. After all, the good shepherd knows them by name and his call is unique for each of his sheep, and each sheep must have a unique relationship with the Good Shepherd. John 10, verse 3 and 5. The shepherd hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep 
follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, because they do not know the voice. If you are in a spiritual mentoring sort of relationship and your mentor encourages you to continue in your dependency upon them, then that probably is not a healthy relationship. Slowly wean yourself from running to others before you run to God. Never get so full of yourself, though, that you don't take their advice when it's offered. You can hear God's voice. You can grow in your faith and you can become spiritually mature. And one day, God is going to call you to be a spiritual mentor as well. So learn those lessons now. Get into the Word. Spend time alone with Him. Begin to discern the difference between your own voice, the enemy's voice, and the Lord's voice. Remember that God will never contradict Himself, and anything that He speaks to you in the area of direction will always line up with His Word.